Good morning. Today's lecture is on active and passive voice. A feature which gives precision and correction to grammar. Okay. In grammar, the voice, also called diathesis of a verb, describes the relationship between the action or state that the verb expresses and the participants identified by its argument. That is subject or object. What is active voice? When the subject is the agent or the doer of the action, the verb is in the active voice. Let me give you an example. The, uh, the cat ate the mouse. The verb ate is in the active voice. Passive voice. What is passive voice? When the subject is the patient, target, or undergoer of the action, the verb is said to, said to be in the passive voice. Okay? I repeat, is the patient, target, or undergoer of the action. The mouse was eaten by the cat. The verbal phrase was eaten is passive. The active voice is the most commonly used in many languages and represents the normal case in which the subject of the verb is the agent. The passive voice is employed in a clause whose subject expresses the theme or patient of the verb. That is, it undergoes an action or has its state changed. Okay? Active voice. In most English sentences with an action verb, the subject performs the action denoted by the verb. I repeat, in most English sentences with an action verb, the subject performs the action denoted by the verb. For example, I will show you that the subject is doing the verb's action. The man must have eaten five burgers. The man is the subject. What is he doing? He is eating. That is the verb. Because the subject does or acts upon the verb in such sentences, the sentences are said to be in the active voice. Okay? Passive voice. One can change the normal word order of many active sentences, those with a direct object, so that the subject is no longer active, but is instead being acted upon by the verb or passive. Example, five burgers, note how in this subject verb relationship has changed. Five burgers must have been eaten by the man. Burgers is the subject, are being eaten is the verb. Because the subject is being acted upon or is passive, such sentences are said to be in the passive voice. I'm sure it is clear to you because the example I am giving is very simple to comprehend. Colorful parrots live in the rainforests cannot be changed to passive voice because the sentence does not have a direct object. Please note this carefully. There are exceptions. Colorful parrots live in the rainforests cannot be changed to passive voice at all because the sentence, why? Because the sentence does not have a direct object. Now, transitive, transitive ver verbs have both active and passive forms. Okay, how? Active. The hunter killed the lion. Passive. The lion was killed by the hunter. Active. Someone has cleaned the windows. Passive. The windows have been cleaned. The passive forms are made up of the verb be and a past part. Participle. Sorry, a past participle. The verb be and a past participle. Be is the past. Be past participle. English is spoken all over the world. So, English is spoken all over the world. All over the world is the past participle. We sometimes use the verb get to form the passive. Be careful with the uh, with the glass. It might get broken. Peter got hurt in a crash. Okay? 
if we want to show the person or thing doing the action we use by she was attacked by a dangerous dog the money was stolen by her friend or her husband we can use the indirect object as the subject of a passive verb i repeat we can use the indirect object as the subject of a passive passive verb active i gave him a book for his birthday someone sent her a check for a thousand euros passive he was given a book for his birthday he was sent a check for a thousand euros okay it is very easy till now we can use phrasal verbs in the passive how active they called off the meeting his grandmother looked after him passive the meeting was called off he was looked after by his grandmother some verbs very frequently you are are very frequently used in the very frequently used in the passive are followed by the to infinitive t o to infinitive be supposed to be expected to be asked to be scheduled to be allowed to be told to examples john has been asked to make a speech at the meeting you are supposed to wear a uniform the meeting is scheduled to start at 7 it must be noted that i becomes See, these are rules, and rules have to be simply mugged up, simply memorized. Okay, and do not try to use your logic. There is no relativity in this. These are absolute rules. Okay, so grammatical rules just have to be learned and applied. It must be noted that I becomes me in passive voice. We becomes us in passive voice. You remains you. He becomes. him she becomes her it becomes it it remains it they becomes them these are rules which you have to memorize i becomes me in passive voice we becomes us in passive voice you remains you in passive voice he becomes him in passive voice she becomes her in passive voice it remains it in passive voice they becomes them